This is tutorial number 96 and it covers how to add part bodies within CATIA V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 59 which is located on the DVD. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create additional part bodies. Now if you open up uh, this part and open up the part body, you can see that we have three pads that make up this single part body. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create uh, three part bodies in total and we're going to have each pad in a separate part body. As we do that, you're going to notice that this part's actually going to be split up into three uh, separate bodies by lines. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is going to be applicable to the later, uh, the future tutorials that we're going to be doing on the Boolean operations. So in this one, I'm just going to give you a feel of how to create uh, additional part bodies. So to add an additional part body, all you have to do is click insert, click body, and you're going to see that we've added an additional part body. Now let's drag, let's put this pad into this body. So what you have to do is just drag it in. So let's click, drag, and toss it into part body two. And now you can see how it's kind of split. So if you click part body two, you have the body there. If you click part body one, you can see the body there. So now we have two different bodies within our uh, part. So now we'll do it again. So we'll click insert, click body, and now we'll put pad three into this body here. And now we have one body there, one body there, and one body there. So our part that was just a single body now has three bodies. And from these bodies, we're able to create more features and we're able to uh, use Boolean operations to separate and uh, play around with these bodies. So say we wanted to add more bodies to this part. Let's just click this face here and we'll go to the uh, part design and let's just make another sketch on that face there. Just draw a circle in it and we'll extrude it out. And you can see that our sketch is under this body. So now we're going to create another feature under this body. So we'll extrude it out, click that sketch, click OK. And now we have another feature under that body. Now we're able to toss this into other bodies if we want to. And it's free to move from one body to another. Now the only thing though is uh, as you change it from one body to another, if we put it back to this body here, so back to body three, it's all going to be uh, together if you put it, uh, or sorry, actually it's alone by itself in body two now, but you can slowly build up and slowly build all these pads together to create uh, different bodies uh, different sets and from these sets of bodies we're going to use our boolean operations to create uh, unique uh, characteristics and unique solids from it. So in this tutorial I'm just showing you how to create each of these bodies and by showing you how to toss one body into another and just how to move everything around. And this concludes our tutorial on how to add part bodies within CATIA v5.